How's it going, guys? This is Vaughn, and we're back in American Truck Simulator once again, and in 1440 resolution. <laughs> I apologize for the last uh, mishap with shifting equipment around. Everything got kind of screwed up. So I swapped monitors again, and uh, yeah, got everything back to normal. So yeah, that is, it is what it is. Uh, but today we're in the Peterbilt 3XX. This is from uh, Half Fast Gaming. And then we've got the, uh, the new version of the Benson trailer from Brian Modmakers on the back. That's that. Uh, we've got some parts, like the frame parts of it, in um, in the the painted green color that the uh, 3XX is in. Um, the rest of it is pretty much chrome, I believe. So that's that. It's a pretty nice looking trailer. So we're gonna go and whoa, God almost ran us over. Uh, we're gonna go and pick us up our shipment. We're in St. George, Utah. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get rolling and. Uh, and take care of that. So let's get started up. And get the lights on. And we'll come back in. Parking brake comes off. No GPS, unfortunately. So we're going to have to ride with that. But it is okay. It's a pretty all right looking truck. Nothing super, super detailed about it, but, um, you know, it's cool. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Oh, is that this one? Exit yeah. Down. Should have been in that other lane. Sure, it's kind of hard when you can't really see your GPS. <laughs> um, and then with the mirrors, are those those are a little screwed up too. Uh, they're a little dark than uh, they need to be. But that's all right. I at least did want to make uh, at least one video on this truck. Probably in the next one we'll go back to uh, an old faithful or something. I've just kind of been in this mood of like wanting to tr like right. drive these right. trucks that I hadn't driven before and. Yeah, I, I kind of like seeing, like, uh, being able to document what a truck might look like now, and then, you know, a few months later they'll put out an update, so I, I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to, like, be trying, you know, different trucks, and then as new versions come out, we'll check out the new versions. So we can kind of see the progression of them as they go. Um, hopefully we don't actually get... Uh, Trucks that <laughs> just get abandoned. Actually stopped way before the line here. Alright, we're fine. We can go. Alright, so where do we turn in here? Right here? These windows are also a little funky. They reflect light a little too much. Alright, picking up at the Home Depot. And Amazon's here too. You have arrived at your destination. Okay, we should be going to Colorado. Yeah, Montrose, Colorado. Yeah, just a simple shipment of wood. It's not going to pay us too much. <laughs> Eight grand. Um, yeah, it's not a lot. Not the best payday, but we'll take it. We're kind of in between jobs at the moment, so. Therefore, we're on. I have a feeling that we're going to be up here against the wall. Uh, yeah, okay. That's a... Man, those mirrors are sure are dark. <laughs> Do a kind of a reverse here, get ourselves facing the other direction. Actually, we may not need to reverse. Eesh, that reflection. 
That's blinding. Blinded by the light. Probably have to use the outside view to back up because I can't can't see well. Let's give it a try and see. Oh man, stalled it. Shoot. Oh, because I'm in reverse too, probably. Try that again. Yeah. Ah, man, that's hard to tell. I think I screwed it up already. Ah, can't see nothing out of that one. <laughs> um, okay, let's just roll our window down. Where are we here? Wow, okay. Nope, we're nowhere near where we need to be. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> the trailer turns pretty easily, so. Alright, that should work right there. See how straight we are. No, oh, not too bad. I did have to <laughs> correct myself there. Wow, they're loading us fast. Look at that. It's like they just dropped it in our lap. Okay. Bit of a rocky start, but uh, let's see what we can do. Starting low. gate. Okay, one low seems to work. Traffic. Alright, four ways will come off. Get our window up. And just roll through the stop here. <laughs> I think we're supposed to go left again. Alright. Well, that was weird. I don't know if you saw that. That arrow in the street just disappeared on us. Huh. That was interesting. Yeah, so there's some things that are kind of broken. <laughs> Uh, GPS don't work, uh, mirrors are a little screwed up, uh, but, you know, it's decent. Uh, the modeling in here isn't uh, as detailed as others, but uh, I do like the layout of the uh, the buttons and everything, and everything is pretty legible, so I've, I've, <laughs> I've seen some trucks that, uh, man, like some of the, the gauges on there are so bad, it's, can't even really make out what's going on even the the um coronado from john ruda you probably have seen that when i'm when i uh have driven that in some videos when you put the uh, the backlights on it's like it's too bright you can't even make out the uh the speedometer this truck does not turn easily Exit. either Exit Whoa. Yeah, turning on this thing is rough. <laughs> ah, man, look at these mirrors. A lot of good this does. <laughs> it's like pitch black, man. That looks cool though, look at that. You can see the sun coming up. 
or rather setting. <laughs> Sunset. Man, I, once nighttime hits, these mirrors are, yeah, look at that. It's like pitch black, dude. Can't see anything. <laughs> That's about as useful as an ashtray on a motorcycle. But don't worry, we'll definitely get in a better, better truck next time. Just wanted to make sure I uh, at least put, like I said, some at least one video out on this one. That way we can re revisit it later and see what's different and stuff like that. Let's see what's happened the last few days. So, hmm. Where to start? Hopefully you can't tell in my voice, but I'm battling a sore throat at the moment. And I've got my special concoction of hot tea. <clears throat> I'm trying to trying to flush it out. Um, started yesterday, just out of nowhere. It's probably allergy related. Uh, my sister's been suffering with the allergies quite a bit the last couple weeks. And it hadn't really hit me until, um, I guess, last night when I started getting the um, sore throat and a little bit of sneezing, whatever, and then last night kept waking up every few hours, you know, I would just kind of have to pop a throat lozenge or something to to keep it at bay so I could sleep, <laughs> but this morning I woke up, it was real bad, um, and we're having, like, company tonight, <laughs> so, bad time, bad time to get sick, but... I don't feel any other symptoms, so I'm sure it's just allergies. It's it's usually it's what it is. Um, so, kind of dealing with that. Um, I'm enjoying this new setup here. I like being able to just keep my wheel right here and, instead of having to keep like folding it and all that crap. Um, and I can also see a little better because on my other desk I, I had the monitor, you know, back a ways, and I explained why in the last video, it's just the way the setup worked best. The monitors would have to be further back so I could have room for my other stuff. What is going on with the steering in this guy? It's like my dead zone is super high. Um, I gotta let off the throttle anytime I turn. I don't know why I keep checking the mirrors. <laughs> Ain't nothing there. Um, yeah, so I do like this uh, this setup that we've got here. It's pretty nice. Probably ride with that for a while. Um, and what else is going on here? Um, oh, we ha we did our test in our our free uh, Hulk Creek Trucking Convoy server yesterday, and uh, it was uh, interesting. <laughs> uh, we we figured out some stuff, um, which. I don't know if there's ever a time when when it's easy, you know, when you're when you're setting something up for the first time, there's always kinks that you got to work out. Even some wrenches that get thrown in your way and you can't really do all that you were hoping. I'm really hoping there's nobody here next to me because if there is, we're about to eat them. But I can't see anything. Um I suppose I could use the pivot cam. Let's see if the pivot cam works. Yeah, pivot cam works all right. Just have to uh, <laughs> turn my neck <laughs> to be able to see. I should be in the other lane. Um, right. Yep. And then right. Ooh. Okay. Can we get over? All right. Let's slow down. Let's let Mr. Lincoln go go by. Oh, he's letting us go by. Okay. Right. That works, too. Much appreciated. I don't know what's what's up with this, uh, this truck. It feels like I'm... Oh. Okay. Feels like I'm driving on ice. I'm not going to bother to adjust the suspension, because I'm not... Not really planning to drive this truck much. 
just wanted to do it for today's video. Uh, let's see what else is happening. Oh yeah, so with the server, it was like, uh, you know, it was very interesting to say the least. Uh, so what, what ended up happening was, um, so when I jumped in, I got my load order all, all right, all proper. But then there was one pesky add-on for the, um, those are wake wrappers. For the uh, K100E that we had to figure out was the culprit of me not being able to load it in the mod manager, which is the strangest thing that... So it, there's basically like two add-on mods for the, uh, the K100E, and so the one that... Oops, I'm going to hit 80 there. The one that um, Dan, or Goggles56, was using... Um, allowed you to put, I, I think it was a forward axle on the truck, and that was the mod that I guess we thought we put in our zip file, uh, because everybody, we're making it essentially like one big zip file will have all the mods you need, except for one Steam mod, which is sound fixes. So uh, they pretty much decided on the mods, compressed them into a zip file, and then that zip file is going to be what everybody and anybody who wants to join the convoy has to download and put in their mods folder and then put in their mod manager and so forth. Well, it turns out that the add-on mod that was in the zip file was the incorrect one. So the... Oh, and it turns out a couple of the other guys, um, Spig and Scott, had that add-on as well as the the one we actually needed. Um, and so did Dan, of course, because Dan had the, uh, he, you know, put everything in his, in his load order and um, configured the convoy server to use that load order. It's just that, I guess they thought that the add-on mod that we had in the zip file was the same one that everybody else had. So for me and Scotty C, who was also joining, uh, we didn't have either add-on, so we just put in the one from the zip file, which was the incorrect one, and therefore it wasn't wasn't working. It wouldn't even show in the mod manager, which we also never really figured out why it never showed in there. But basically, the culprit was Dan had to just send us that mod by itself, the correct one, the correct add-on mod for the K100E, and then that worked. Once we had that in our mod folder, then it showed up in the mod manager. We could drop it in the load order, and everything was good from there. So it seems like it seems simple now, but last night when you're you're trying to run through it and you can't figure out what's causing the issue, I mean, it's pretty frustrating. Uh, so needless to say, I, I think I jumped into the uh, to our little meet to to test everything. Um, I, I know I jumped in kind of later than everybody else, probably like 8 o'clock, maybe just before 8. Something like that. It may have been closer to 8.30. But we essentially did not get on the road to do our our load uh, until probably 10.45, 11 o'clock that night. That's how long it took for everybody to, to get in, to get settled, get their mods working. So yeah, it was a, um, I think debacle sums it up pretty nicely. But we made it in the end. It was uh, frustrating at first, <laughs> but we made it. So um, I think Dan's going to also be testing it out again on his stream today, if I'm not mistaken. I, I don't remember if he's going to do 1.50 stuff or, or what, but... Yeah, we're, we're planning to roll it out as soon as possible, so it could be today, it could be uh, tomorrow, which is uh, Sunday for me, but you're watching this on Sunday, so it could be today for you, which is Sunday. <laughs> so, we'll have to see what, what happens.
really care for the engine either on this one. I don't remember which one we're using here. Is it one of the ISX ones? I can't remember. Or maybe it's one of the cat ones. I don't remember. Actually, maybe that. It may, may, might be the King of the Hill cat engine. I don't remember. Um, man, look at this. All trucks are taking up this entire... <laughs> this entire... Oh, look at that. Another one. We are just flooding this interstate with... Oh, okay. There's a car. There's a caddy. And a Lincoln behind him. And a Mustang. here. I'm debating of whether we should pass them or just... Oh boy. Alright. Letting someone on so they're going to go even slower now. Alright. I'll let this guy in. Guys. In. I keep out of habit wanting to check my mirrors, but I need to remember there's... <laughs> they're going to be less than helpful today. this particular vehicle. And we are packing out this this interstate right here. Look at this traffic. I don't recall if, if this was an urgent delivery or not. I'm assuming not, based on how little they're paying us. So, not really too worried about the traffic here. This is a cool little drive through the mountains, though. Look at this. These guys are crawling up this hill. Ugh, that's annoying. <laughs> He's almost stopped. Okay, it's not even that steep of an incline, guys. little horsepower do you have, my guy? Alright, I'm going to use my pivot cam to... Yep. We're going to take that opportunity. Back over here. Always got that one person slowing you down. <laughs> slowing everybody down. Okay, okay, you're slow, whoa, okay. All right, dude, all right. Fortunately, there was nobody to our, to our left there. Holy crap, dude, why? Should have honked at him. Man, that's, that's annoying. <laughs> 
Like, okay. You could you could have totally just veered a little bit to the left. Like there was no traffic to our in our left lane. You could have just given him some room, but no, he decides to slam on the brakes. I know he would not have been able to stop. And I guess I may have also been following him a little too close, but still. I've driven this route in the daytime a few times. I'm recognizing <coughs> recognizing a little little things here and there, even in the uh, even in the nighttime. Kind of interesting. Also, there's uh, there was a while there that I was running that um, what was it? It was like an autumn winter pack. Here's Colorado. Oh, that was weird. Our horn cut out there for a second. Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. Um, so I was, yeah, I was running that vegetation mod. Ah, oh, dang it. Alright. Well, we can actually get over, so. We'll make him happy. Don't worry, Sky. We'll be back on the road in no time. Uh, back when I was running that mod, the vegetation mod, um, it really did make you feel like you were in autumn. Like with the, uh, how it would change the color of the vegetation and everything. 89,000. It's pretty heavy. It's a lot of lumber. skipping gears here because we don't got much I mean I guess we do kind of have a decent ramp but Get ready. Turn left. I don't want to be crawling up this hill turn left and then turn right turn left and then turn right Man, this steering is horrible. Alright, I'm gonna skip all the way to seven. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Nobody coming anyway, we're fine.
Montrose, I think that's where we're going. Right. We're exiting towards Grand Junction. Keep right, and then turn right. Turn right. Uh oh. Game stutter. Man, that happened to me a couple times <laughs> in a convoy last night. I'd get a really bad freeze that would last a good, like, nine seconds. And then, and that's the thing is because your, your game keeps going, your truck keeps going, you just can't see because your, your screen just freezes, like, on the, on a single frame, and then you can't see anything. So it happened a few times where my, my truck would keep going, but I couldn't see. Uh, and then when it would finally catch up, I'd I'd be like halfway through a rail, <laughs> taking thirty percent damage. It happened several times in our in our convoy last night. And I couldn't remember it being that frequent, because uh, I you know I'd get it every now and then, and I remember a few times that uh, the one di, one of our. Um, guys that joins the convoy would he would get that too it was actually kind of funny because one time I was behind him when it happened and I just saw him veer off the side of the road and smash straight into a wall and uh, <laughs> whenever that happens you can pretty much tell what you can pretty much always tell what happens <laughs> because it's so common Was that our turn? Reboot. Oops, we missed it. <laughs> that came up, that came up really quick. And then turn left. Well, we can't really do that. Turn left. Can't really go left here, Sky. Um, what we're probably gonna have to do is, I'm assuming we can't go right there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's a chance of us getting to the left, so. Was I in three trying to take off there? I thought it was in one. I don't know if this road even continues. This looks this road looks really sketchy back here. I think it's leading us to a dead end. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my gosh, okay, we're like off the road. <laughs> we are off the road here. Okay, well, we're going to have to fly, so let me, uh, let me do this here. Oops, we're on the curb. Uh oh, I put us. I got us stuck. Okay, is that better? Can we move now? Yeah. Whoopsie. Man, see what happens when you miss your turn? <laughs> Sorry for I, I keep uh, forgetting to to turn off my uh, my head tracker whenever I turn my head because my keyboard is way over here. I have to like reach over to it. I need to I need to be remembering to turn my my head tracker off so I don't make anybody dizzy.
Okay. Uh oh. And we're in neutral. Come on, let's go. I'm assuming we go straight. Sky didn't speak up, so... Okay, well now I know. At Grand Junction, do not go straight. <laughs> I'm sure at some point we would have dropped off the map. Or something. Maybe. Hopefully you guys are excited for the uh, the new free convoy server. You'll be able to ride with us. Uh, we can only fit eight people in there at a time, so you know I'm sure we won't be able to do uh, you know because when when we pack it out, you know all the guys in the eight uh, Hell Creek Trucking uh, VTC, we easily take up six seven spots, <laughs> so. We'll have to make sure that, uh, you know, we only get uh, a couple of us, uh, or maybe just one of us, in there whenever we have uh, you guys, the viewers, join us. That way we can fit as many of you guys in there as possible, and everybody can have a good time. Man, with the light shining in here, you can really see how uh, <laughs> how basic everything is. All the modeling in here in this truck. It's got some work. Got some work that it needs. And this is just a. I feel like I should have prefaced this before. I, I want to say this is just an alpha version. Uh, so if you support them on Patreon, Half Fast Gaming, you'll get the uh, the link to go and download it yourself. Great. And uh, all the parts are there. It's just, uh, you know, everything looks a little bland. Still needing some detailing put in and, uh, you know, better textures and stuff like that. But it's on its way. It has a good variety of uh, parts that you can choose from. So that is a pretty cool uh, advantage. Merging. Lane merging. Nobody there. We're good.
watch for rocks and wildlife. We will. This this little spot here. Keep right and then continue straight on. Continue straight on. Keep right and then continue straight on. Don't worry, Sky. Continue we get we on. get the uh, we are clear on the directions. <laughs> Follow these guys so close. Remember what? I remember what happened. The guy slammed on brakes. <laughs> it's a steep incline here. Get ready to turn right. Million dollar highway. go there's our new mont right there Whoa. don't hit the stop sign oh we hit the stop sign and I can't I'm checking my mirrors but I can't see anything <laughs> when will I learn man this is a steep incline holy cow all right well let's keep it in low then On tires, come on! Oh no! Okay. There it goes. That was that was sketchy. I did not I did not prepare properly for that incline. Oh, dude! No, we're spending. Ugh, that's not good. Oh no, we're we're going back. We're going back. We're going back. Okay, all right. Let's get a grip here. Oh, man, come on, come on, come on. Catch, come on, tires. Do your thing. Oh shoot. Ah, this is not good. This is not good right here. All right, come on. Small tires, do your thing. Shoot, stalled it. All right, come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> Oh, dude, we're going to be sitting here a while, I think. Darn. There we go. Oh, shoot. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Don't you crap out on me again. Okay, okay. I think we're okay. Let's see. All right, I think we're okay. <laughs> wow, dude. Holy cow.
Well, that was interesting. I think we're alright. I was staying on too low there for a little bit just to make sure we'd be alright. I think we're okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> we finally got some, some traction. What a nightmare. I wasn't even really worried about messing with the differential. I just wanted to just, <laughs> just get us moving out of there. For anybody that doesn't know, you can Look at that forest area, that's pretty cool. Locking the differential will make the tires on both sides spin at the same time, spin at the same speed. And that normally helps with getting more traction if you're stuck. And then you just unlock it um, once you're back to once you're back to normal. Okay, what are we doing here? What am I, what am I wanting to go here? Four? See, I'm talking, distracting myself. Fragile. Yeah, we're getting some better speed now. call this truck the slip and slide. Whew, there's Newmont. Okay. <laughs> well, coming down will be a lot easier, that's for sure. Oh, gosh. What a nightmare that was. Very cool. That's that's really pretty through here. I actually recognize this spot now. Yeah, we have been here before. But we sure didn't have as much trouble coming up here with the, the other truck. Whatever other truck we drove through here, we <laughs> sure didn't have the same struggles as with this one. Old slip and slide here. You have arrived at your destination. <sighs> About time. We normally back up, uh, oh, is it putting us over there? Where's it putting us? Um, I just saw the thing. Oh, here it is. Okay, that's an interesting, interesting job. Spot. All right. Let's get in our outside view. So we can't see anything out of those mirrors. All right. bit straight. Just 
start turning it a little bit. Actually, we could have gotten a little more straight. All right, d camera, what are you doing here? <laughs> Come on. You know there's a mountain there. You got to shift around it. Trying to mess us up. Okay. We're going to we're going to get straighter here. I think we owe it to ourselves to do at least this part right. take that <laughs> it's not perfect but i'm so done complete a perfect delivery no damage no fines oh okay guess i hadn't had that before gold rush i don't know if that shows up does it show up yeah the achievement thing shows up okay well that was uh oh, so glad that's over 435 miles nine and a half hours 50 uh, basically 60 gallons and we made a measly eight 1,628. <laughs> not enough, man. Not enough. Well, I don't think we'll be driving Mr. Slip and Slide here for a little bit, but <laughs> that I'll, I'll still have a link to it in the description if you want to go and check it out. At least you can see the uh, the model for yourself or if you don't have it. That is that is if you don't have this truck already. Um, but yeah, so it's got a ways to go. You can see some of the, the, you know, the modeling on there is pretty basic. Nothing really detailed or anything, but yeah. Um, yeah, still fun to go and check out these trucks that are still in the you know the alpha versions. That way we can see the changes as they you know as they're made and everything. So, um, but the next run we'll definitely drive one of the trucks that we've uh, driven before. Um, we'll see which ones. Leave that as a surprise. So, yeah, hopefully you guys have a good rest of your Sunday. Uh, I do ask if you enjoyed this content that you please subscribe and drop a like while you're at it. I do appreciate the love and support as always. We're on our way to 200 subscribers, so that's exciting. Uh, and that's uh, all I got for you today. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, be safe and have a good one.